What's up YouTube? Bad Minotaur here and today's video is how to camp Warhog. And before it starts, a real quick tip. When you're looking at this loading screen, you see the Ghosts and the Federation, the tri the blue and the orange triangle below them. Whichever one is the blue one is the one that you're going to spawn at. So you can kind of decide which way you're going to go before the match starts. Anyway, here we go. I think I'm going to use the M27 this map. I'm always changing my weapons and trying new stuff out. And last game I played with the LSAT. This one I'm going to play with the M27. So, the thing about this map is everybody knows about the camping spot in that room above the bakery. Everybody camps it. So, we're going to camp something different here. Got to work my way over there first. Usually, there's always somebody coming out right here. There's somebody coming from my left. We've lost the lead. I hear him. He's right there. Call of Duty timing got him. He turned his back. Right as I, oh, man, that guy took me out. I saw him, but I didn't get didn't react quick enough. So I'm gonna work my way over there. I saw a bad guy. He was too far away to take a shot. Sometimes you gotta know when not to shoot. If you have a low chance of success. And all you're going to do is give your position Maybe away. Sometimes it's better not to fire. Man, what does it take to kill that guy? I hear another guy off to my left. That guy must not have been looking at his mini-map because it should have... Oh, they got me. Alright, again, still trying to make my way over to my spot. We're like two minutes in, I haven't even got there yet. And we're losing, 11 to 12. See how I'm just sort of walking along? I call this the, the Minotaur Shuffle. Because <laughs> everybody else is running and I'm just kind of plodding along and walking. And, and I said in an earlier video, that's because I learned that when I'm walking and I get into a gunfight, I can, I can win the gunfights, but when I'm sprinting, I don't. And that's because I don't have quick draw and ready up and all those perks that the rushers have. So I just walk along, doing the mentor shuffle, heading to my camping spot. We've lost the lead. I always check up there where that sign is above where I was just looking because there's I got there. Okay, now I'm at my spot. So I come back here. Well, apparently I'm going to look around for a second first. But I'm going to put an ID on the wall right there to my right. And I'm going to get behind this bar, kind of head glitch over to in this area. Like I said, everybody else wants to camp that room to my right above the bakery. Look at that. Just took him out. The thing about this spot is it's feast or famine. Some games you'll get, you know, 25 kills, and then some games you won't even see a person. <laughs> But I didn't want to show you the same camping spot that everybody else is making videos on. And there's nothing wrong with that spot. And I even camp it sometimes when I spawn on this side of the map. And I can get there first. I'll camp that spot. But when I spawn on the other side of the map, you know, I guarantee you, by the time you get there, there's already somebody up there watching that door. And it's very hard to get somebody out. Once they're in there, they're like an Alabama tick, man. It's hard to get them out. Here's my sweet surprise. Put it right over here. I really wish I'd have went over and picked up my IED. I don't know what I was thinking. Apparently I wasn't. But now I got an IED and a uh, sweet surprise over there. Friendly SATCOM active. Enemy SATCOM spotted. I'm really giving myself a good advantage here because I'm sort of head glitched and I can see through that door and into that other room across the across the way. Yeah, I got the sentry gun. Now, when I place the sentry gun here, I kind of wish I'd done something different. I wish I, I mean I'm okay with where I put it 
But I wish I'd have waited till my uh, till my IMS expired, and then I would watch the back. Now look at this. I start to reload, and I see that guy. He must have just spawned there, and I <laughs> somehow I managed to reload, cancel, and kill that guy. <laughs> that was crazy. And the only way he got in there was he spawned there when I went out. That's a that's crazy. Never would I expected that guy to be there. But anyway, my sentry guns pretty much watch on that front door. I, I should have waited till my IMS expired, and then I would have watched the back door. Kind of optimize my my score streaks, you know. Oh, I, I called in the battle line too. This is my sentry gun getting, doing some work. Fifteen and two right now, and we're in the lead, fifty-three to forty-one. You know, we st before I got to my campus, but we were losing this match. Then I got here, and uh, sort of, it's been the difference. Another two more kills from my battle hind. Now, see, my, now, now my another kill. Now my IMS has expired, but I still have that high deal there. No one ever came that way. Man, that two hits from my battle hind, but that guy had uh, danger, or whatever it is, the protection against explosives. Now my sentry gun's gone, so I'm back to. And I like to change position here once in a while, like I just did. So what am I? I'm 19 and 2 right now. Um, the rest of this match, nobody comes, so I kind of just do a transition here to the end. But anyway, that's how you camp that spot in Warhawk. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, please let me know. Give me a comment or something. I make a lot of these videos, and um, it's good to hear what you guys think. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Until the next video, Bad Minotaur out.